Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 20. God says, They that are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the Lord, but such as are upright in their way are his delight. In case you didn't notice, God does distinguish between right and wrong and good and bad. Situation ethics are not taught in Scripture. God has a value system, and his values are determined by what he says in his word. And he says a perverse or a froward heart is something that he detests. A froward heart is talking about insincerity. And if a person is insincere, they are untrustworthy. A froward heart is a twisted heart, a twisted mind with a dishonest heart. It's a heart that never says what it means, never says what it really believes, but only what it thinks other people want to hear. It's just the people like that have are like that because they want to gain an advantage over others or gain their approval by being purposely vague, not straightforward about what they think. They're not leaders. They're not even good followers. And they are about as far removed from God that anything could be because he certainly is not anything like that. God speaks the simple truth. You know why? Because it's truth. And he never checks to see which way the wind of public opinion is blowing before he says something or before he does something. And that's what he wants us to do. It's certainly what he wants his preachers to do. Speak the truth. Don't check to see which way public opinion is going. Don't be purposely vague so you can backtrack and say, well, I didn't really mean that when you get opposition. Speak the simple truth of God's word. 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. God says the wicked will not go unpunished, no matter how well off they may be right now, no matter what kind of association they may have, no matter how strong they may bind themselves together. Wicked may join hand upon hand with other wicked people until they have a great majority of people, which is the case right now, doesn't matter. They might have it pretty good right now, but they're not going to succeed in the end. Always remember this, the worst is yet to come for the wicked. And meanwhile, no matter how badly things may get for saved people who walk with the Lord, no matter how bad off you may be as a Christian, or for that matter, how well off you may be as a Christian, still the best is yet to come for you. 22. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman who is without discretion. Now, I've never been a farmer, but I've gone to a fair and I've visited the barns, you know, and, and I've seen up close and personal a swine's mouth or a swine's nose. I can tell you this, I if I've ever seen anything more ugly than that, I don't remember what it was. And we're going to get back to what God says about this next time. So join me on our next coffee break. In the meantime, you can study all of God's word with me at the Bibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible, verse by verse, at thebibleversebyverse.com. If you'd like to be a part of this ministry, you can be by praying for me and God's Word, because that immediately makes you a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long, everyone.